In this video, we solve an example or evaluate an integral using the method of integration called trigonometric substitution. Now we are going to evaluate the integral. This is example number three. We are to evaluate the integral of x cubed square root of 4x squared minus 1 dx. Now we take note that this is an algebraic integrand. The integrand involves an algebraic expression and we cannot directly use any diff integration rules or a simple substitution to integrate this. Now we see the pattern 4x squared minus 1 so that follows the pattern here u squared minus a squared so therefore we can use trigonometric substitution. Now we can rewrite the radicand that's x cubed in the form 2x quantity squared minus 1 dx. So we can see here that 2x quantity squared is u squared and 1 is equal to a squared. Then therefore we can let 2x be equal to second theta. Now take note that we are using this pattern. So u is 2x and a is 1. So 2x equals second theta. Then we solve for x. That's 1 half. Second theta. Find the differential dx. That is 1 half second theta tangent theta d theta so we have to take note also that we have to because we're doing substitution so we are instead of the variable x we are going to replace x now with the variable theta so we have to replace all x's in our given integrand we have to replace them now with the variable theta so we now have something to replace dx so we have here one half second theta tangent theta and then so we have x cubed here so we are going to raise this to the power of 3 to get x cubed. So raising x to the power of 3 that's x cubed equals one half raised to the power of 3 is 1 eighth, 1 eighth second cube theta. So we now have something to replace x cubed and then for the radicand our radicand is 4x squared minus 1. And from the pattern here, from this pattern here, we were able to derive this in the previous video. So u squared minus a squared is a squared tangent squared theta. Take note that a squared is 1. So 4x squared minus 1 is simply equal to tangent squared theta. Now we have something to replace 4x squared minus 1. Now we substitute. Our given this is now integral of x cubed is 1 eighth second cube theta. Then we extract the square root of the radicand which is equal to tangent squared theta. And dx is 1 half second theta tangent theta d theta. Multiplying the constants that's 1 8 times 1 half we get 1 over 16 and then we have second combine the seconds that would give us second to the power of 4 theta we extract that square root of tangent squared theta which would give us tangent theta and multiply it to another theta here that will give us tangent squared theta d theta so from the algebraic integrand, we are able to transform it now into a trigonometric integrand. So the pattern here is a product. So we have here an integrand which is a product of second and tangent, wherein their exponents are even integers, even numbers. Now from the rules, in our discussion about trigonometric integrals, we recall that if the exponent of second theta is even, what we're going to do is to factor out second squared theta. So, rem 
Subtracting 2 from the exponent 4, what's left is second squared theta and tangent squared theta. So we factor out second squared theta and we have to express the remaining trigo functions, all of them, in terms of tangent squared theta. So second squared theta can be expressed in terms of tangent squared theta by using the trigo identity. Second squared theta is equal to tangent squared theta plus 1 times tangent squared theta second squared theta d theta. And then we distribute. That's tangent to the power of 4 theta plus tangent squared theta second squared theta d theta. In this part here, we perform trigo substitution or simple substitution. We now let, let's say we want to use the variable u, we let u be equal to tangent theta. So du equals second squared theta d theta. Substituting, we have 1 over 16 integral of u to the power of 4 plus u squared du, which is now integrable. We now integrate this 1 over 16 times u to the power of 5 over 5 plus u cubed over 3 plus c. Or, because u is tangent theta, so that's tangent theta over 80. This is raised to the power of 5 plus tangent cube theta over, that's 48, plus C. But tangent theta is not the, theta is not the original variable. It's X, so we have to express that now back in terms of X. We draw our right triangle to show the relationship with the size of the variables using the trigo function. Since second theta is equal to 2x, we recall that second theta is hypotenuse over the adjacent side. Therefore, when we label our right triangle, 2x is the hypotenuse and the adjacent side is 1. Therefore, the opposite side is 2x quantity squared minus 1 or that is square root of 4x squared minus 1. And so therefore, tangent theta is equal to the opposite side. We recall the opposite side over the adjacent side. But since the adjacent side is just equal to 1, so tangent theta is the square root of 4x squared minus 1 or we can write that as 4x squared minus 1 raised to the power of 1 half. Now we replace now tangent theta in terms of x. So we can write this as 4x squared minus 1 raised to the power of 5 halves over 80 plus 4x squared minus 1 raised to the power of 3 halves over 48 plus C. Okay, but take note, okay, for this is our answer. But for an answer that is completely factored out, instead of in this part here, no, instead of changing u to tangent directly, we can factor out u cubed for a completely factored out answer. Okay, from this part here, so let me write that again here. That's 1 over 16 integral, no, that's 1 over 16 u to the power of 5 over 5 
plus u cube over 3 plus c. So, the, instead of directly changing that to tangent, we can factor out. For a completely factored out form, we can write that as u cube over 16 times u squared over 5 plus 1 third plus c. But then u is tangent, so that's tangent cube theta over 16 times tangent squared theta over 5 plus 1 third plus c. And tangent theta is tangent theta is 4x squared minus 1. That's raised to the power of 1 half, but then we raise that to the power of 3. So 3 halves over 16 times. Since tangent theta is 4x squared minus 1 raised to the power of 1 half, then 4x squared minus 1 is equal to tangent squared theta. So this is 4x squared minus 1 over 5 plus 1 third plus c. Then we combine the fraction 4x squared minus 1 raised to the power of 3 halves over 16. That's 3 times 4x squared minus 1 plus 5 all over 15 plus c. Simplifying, 4x squared minus 1 raised to the power of 3 halves. This now becomes 12x squared. This is minus 3 plus 5. Minus 3 plus 5, that would give us plus 2 over 16 times 15 plus c. But since we can factor out 2 here, that's 4x squared minus 1 raised to the power of 3 halves times 2. That's 6x squared plus 1 over 16 times 15 plus c. And we can see that we can cancel out 2, leaving 8 in the denominator. So the completely factored out answer would be 4x squared minus 1 raised to the power of 3 halves times 6x squared plus 1 all over 15 times 8 is equal to 100 20 plus C. And this is the completely factored out answer. Meaning, if we combine this fraction, we can get this answer.